Gujarat has announced a new 10% quota in government jobs and education for the poorest among unreserved categories. The move may benefit the Patel community, which is aggressively campaigning for reservation, but they've already rejected it outright. Well, we're going to move on now to uh, our uh, next uh, debate this evening. Uh, I'm joined by Yogendra Yadav at this stage. Sanjay Jha remains with us and Jain Vyas, the former Gujarat minister of the BJP with us as well. Mr. Vyas, uh, why did the government in Gujarat feel the need uh, to do this now? Is it uh, because there was a great deal of pressure from the Patel community or were you looking one eye out in future elections? See, as a general principle, we'll have to understand that over so many years of independence that the country had and the kind of progress that we are talking about, that despite almost 30% of the people in this country live below the poverty line, irrespective of caste and creed, we are not talking about which caste and which creed. So there is, there is now a new class which in itself is going to be a problem for the governments of the day because unless you are able to carry everybody together, the benefits of the progress that you are talking about will not go to the uh, masses in general. And there is this, this, this new class that is a class which is deprived because of the economic conditions. So this is an economic deprivation that needs to be considered. So it's not only Gujarat, it's a, it's a situation which yep. sooner than the later will emerge all over the country and i don't think it will be proper to say that gujarat has done it uh, because no, in they fact, are feeling many the states heat of have, many states have done it and i want to ask almost more than about a absolutely. year and a half in fact i want to i want to ask that next question to yogendra yadav yogendra ji it's they have now gone above that 50% which is allowed uh, in terms uh, of having reservations and having quotas, but so have so many other states. For example, Tamil Nadu is at 69%, Maharashtra 52%, Rajasthan 68%. Ultimately, however, this can be challenged in a court of law. Isn't that the case? Uh, Vishnu, this is a classic Indian case of uh, trying to solve a real political problem, a real problem with absolutely wrong-headed solutions. The real problem is, and Mr. Janarayan Bass is right, this is a problem across the country. Unemployment is a serious issue. There are anxieties and people who are from upper caste, who do not belong to the reserve category, they also suffer from poverty. They also suffer from lack of access to jobs. The solution, however, is not what they are proposing. The solution should have been more employment, more skill development, and both of these, uh, most of our governments, and especially this government, has done very, very poorly. The, and the reason why reservation for the poor, as they call it, is not a good solution is the following. Number one, all the reservations account for not even 0.1% of the employment required. Number two, the limit that they have set, 6 lakh rupees annually, is six times more the average income of this country. So virtually everyone would be covered under this reservation, so it would become meaningless. Number three, that it would breach 50% and would be questionable as indeed is the as indeed is the case in other states tamil nadu came before that so it has some chance of escaping although even that is being investigated by the supreme court yep. and finally finally the fact is that economic certificates are the most fudgeable certificates in this country in any village the 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 thing which is easiest for a rich person is to get the certificate of poverty mm -hmm. This is not the case with caste. So unfortunately, we are looking at the wrong answer, a solution which is going to create more problems. And unfortunately for the BJP and for the ruling establishment, it's not even going to please the Patels. So what, who's In fact, Mr. This? Vyas, that's my next question. The Patidar uh, uh, Anamat uh, Andolan Samiti, the PAAS, which represents the Patel community over here, they've rejected the offer. They say that it's a lollipop of sorts. They want it to be community specific. And their argument is that this will be challenged in court, it will be a lengthy legal battle, and therefore their demands will be diluted over a period of time. So this is what they're saying now. How can you reassure them that you're acting in their interest? Well, I think one will have to accept that there are two segments even there. There is, there is another segment called SPG, 
where the the president of the SPG has said that in principle I welcome this uh, declaration. I'll have to get into the finer print of it. I would say that in any democratic situation, you can never rule out any kind of a dissent or any kind of an opposition. So if if pass has any reservations, I think the solution lies in sitting with them and sorting it out. Uh, this is the beginning the government has uh, made, and I'm sure that the, 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 the answer is or the solution is taking it further rather than blocking it right uh, in its inception. So I am sure something out of this will work out and this will ultimately lead to the solution. But once again, I would say that I will to a great extent agree with what Mr. Yogendra Yadav was saying. The, the situation is the employability index, which was 0.43 about 10 years back, has come down to 0.03. That means you are, you might, your, your, your GDP might grow, but you are in a jobless situation. It will not create the jobs okay. and one will have to look towards new, newer skills and also the newer areas which are coming out because of the service sector development. Okay. And it is there where I think the skill development mission has identified certain skills which are going to be in short supply. And a government is, I think, seized of the situation. And in this budget, they already declared the initiative to promote the skill development and the education in that direction. So I will not buy the uh, blanket statement which Mr. Yogendra Yadav was making that this government is not doing anything. The government, in fact, is seized of the issue and they have taken the initiative also okay, fair to enough. get into the area of skill development. Fair enough. Can I Sanjay Jha, let me just, let me just a last word to you. We've got only two minutes left in this. Uh, what is necessarily uh, the, uh, wrong in actually going beyond reservations for caste? In this particular case, there is enough statistical data to indicate that the Patel community in recent times uh, has not been as successful as they once were economically. That a lot of the, the middle level and the lower level businesses uh, which the Patel community was more profitable in, more successful in, in the past, they have lost out and therefore unemployment is, is fairly high in the Patel community. So Sanjay, if this is what the state government had in mind, what is wrong in addressing this concern? Uh, you know, Vishnu, firstly, it would be premature to comment, comment on this because it is probably going to be found to be legally untenable. Uh, having said that, the critical point is, is that this is a manifestation, Vishnu, of the failure of the much-hyped, fictitious, fake Gujarat model. Remember that the Patel or the Patidar community, the entire protest that you're seeing, has happened suddenly. But, you know, while, it appears, while the violent manifestations may be, you know, very abrupt to the common man, the truth is over the last several years, there has been growing disaffection and the inequalities are hurting even certain affluent sections. So somewhere down the line, as you have to agree with Yogendraji here, that end of day, because development has been skewed in the favor of, you know, what you really call is the government of the 1%, by the 1% for the 1%, large sections of even semi-affluent or middle class has become disenchanted. And I think Gujarat is an example of that. And the reason why I'm mentioning Gujarat model is okay. because the Prime Minister in his entire campaign in 2014 showed that to be the prototype that India needed. Okay. Clearly, it's boomeranged. Okay, well, let's see if it does boomerang in the, lo in the long run. There have been instances where there are states with, uh, with higher than 50% which continue to be that, but, but, the legal, but legally uh, it's not yet been challenged and put down. There are cases like that as well. We're going to wrap up this debate at this stage.